such a uh, wonderful people to people relationship and now it is a struggling economy and whatever but why trudeau will be doing this uh, i think uh, you know that's a question you need to have trudeau here not jay shankar to answer <laughs> i can i can uh, only speculate uh, you know uh, look to some extent i think uh, there are uh, there is a general western uh, issue and to some extent a very specific canada issue i think the western issue has been uh, after all let's be frank uh, the world order after 1945 was heavily western i mean it was before 45 also in a imperial colonial sense uh, and uh, after 1990s uh, it was again very very western so what has happened you can say in the last 20 25 years is that uh, the there is what you can call a rebalancing a multipolarity many non western countries have a bigger share uh, a bigger contribution a bigger role uh, if you would and a bigger influence which will naturally come so the equations in a way between the west and the non west i think is changing and it's not easy to adjust to that you know if you win dominant and you are less dominant so you know if uh, there was a time when you know in the conversation you were looking up and i was looking down and now the conversation is no longer like that it takes a little bit of getting used to so i would say in a in a broad way on multiple subjects uh, today this this uh, uh, the when the natural diversity of the world has started to express itself when many more countries and particularly many more large countries like india or china uh, have uh, points of view and positions to take uh, there will be there will be uh, contestations there will be frictions there will be arguments uh, so it won't be so smooth you know that's that's a larger picture uh where canada is concerned i think there are some very specific issues i think a lot of people know that uh, you know you are right uh, if you look at the people to people if you look at the business relationship it's very very strong uh and uh, uh you know for a lot of people uh it is very difficult to imagine uh that we could reach the state of relations that we have today so why has this happened i would say uh, uh definitely uh, there is some history you know uh, i mean for the non indians in the room i should remind you that uh, in the 1980s uh, indian uh, air air india plane was blown up flying out of uh, of uh, uh, canada and uh, in many ways that that's a kind of a overhang because it wasn't just an incident it was a it was a reflection of of something which was going on there but at a time when many people felt that look those are that's all behind us i think developments in the politics uh, went in a different direction uh, and uh, we are seeing to some degree uh, the consequences of that so again i i give you the the first observation that you know uh, the broad attitude versus the specific and i give you two three examples of it you know uh, canada has just uh, uh, they they uh, asked us to uh, su- subject our uh, high commissioner to a police uh, uh, inquiry you can say and we chose to withdraw the high commissioner and diplomats now by you know look look at it they seem to have a problem if indian diplomats are even trying to make efforts to find out what is happening in canada on matters which directly pertain to their welfare and security but look what happens in india canadian diplomats have no problem going around collecting information on our military on our police profiling people 
targeting people to be stopped in Canada. So apparently, there the license that they give themselves is, you know, is totally different from the kind of restrictions that they impose on uh, uh, on diplomats uh, in Canada. Or even take the press. I'm at a press event. Now, you know, when we tell them, saying, look, uh, you have people openly threatening leaders of India, diplomats of India. You know, sometimes the threat is not just verbal, it's physical. So their answer is freedom of speech. Okay? Now, when Indian journalists make social media comments, I mean, if you threaten the Indian High Commissioner, he is supposed to accept it as freedom of speech. But if an Indian journalist says the Canadian High Commissioner walked out of South Block looking very grumpy, it is apparently foreign interference. <laughs> now, how, you know, look, look at the, uh, I mean, this is not even, uh, double standards are a very mild word for it. So, look, there is this thing that we, we will con do it differently at home, we will different, do it differently abroad, we will do it our way, but that doesn't apply to you. So I think these are the larger, uh, I would say, adjustments which have to happen uh, in this changing world.